Curb Appeal is brought to you by Realtor Jenny Saseski of Edina Realty. Curb Appeal is not only the name of this segment, but the term that applies to the first impression a potential buyer has when they arrive at your home. Realtor Jenny Saseski offers some ideas to spruce up your home's appearance. Well, today we're talking with Jenny about what we can do to help spruce up our home's curb appeal, if you will, and uh, help make that home sell a little bit quicker. So Jenny, as uh, we're standing out here in front of this home, uh, tell us a little bit, uh, how important is it to have the outside of your home look good? The outside of your home is the most important thing you need to spruce up. Remember, it's the first impression. If they don't like the curb appeal of the house, they're definitely not going to want to see much more of it. What are five things that we can do to help boost our home's curb appeal? One thing I would suggest is to clean your siding or paint your house if needed. That's really important to make it look good. Also landscaping. Pull weeds, trim some shrubs, mow the lawn, pressure wash sidewalks and driveways. And then have a clean visible house number. That's really important, especially if people are trying to find your house. And lighting is a plus, especially on pathways. And the last thing I would do is make sure you spruce up the front door, paint it, put a decorative knocker on it or a new doorknob, and maybe a nice doormat would look good too. So those sound like some pretty simple things. Uh, most of those we could probably do over a weekend. Are there any other things that we should uh, take a look at before we put our home on the market? I would make sure there's no bare spots in the lawn. Maybe you should you know, fix the patches or maybe do some sodding. That's really important for curb appeal too. So by doing these seemingly minor things, how much difference will that make when it comes time to get the home sold? It's one of the most important things that need to be addressed. According to the research from the National Association of Realtors, 90% of today's buyers are going to find your home online first. Then 76% of those people are going to drive by your home to look at the exterior to decide if they want to look at your home's interior. So again, Jenny, before we uh, close out for today, can you run through those five simple things that we can do? Like this siding, Dave, this looks great. It's brand new siding, doesn't need anything done to it. And these shrubs are well maintained and they look very nice. The only things that I see here is there's a couple bare spots in the lawn that would need to be fixed and that would make it look a lot better too. Have clean visible house numbers. Lighting is a plus, especially on pathways. And spruce up your front door. Paint it or put on a new doorknob, something that makes it look new and maybe even a doormat so they can wipe off their feet before they go into your house. So Jenny, can you tell us about any upcoming open houses? Sure. I have two open houses. One is at 517 Sioux Street. It's a great three bedroom, two bath. Many updates throughout this house. Definitely worth seeing. And I have another one at 553 East 9th Street. Great brick home on a corner lot. For more information, please go to WinonaHomesWithJenny.com. All right. Well, thank you, Jenny, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you, Dave. I look forward to it.